Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's video is going to be just about new products really, things that I've received that I haven't had a chance to use or that I've not shown you guys yet, or ones that I've really loved, so yeah. So this is some of the new skincare range from Urban Decay. You'll see that I've been using the Hot Springs Hydrating Gel in a few of my tutorials. I really can't recommend this enough. It's just like water on the skin, it's so nice, it's not heavy. If you're oily, you are going to love this can't recommend it enough, so nice. So I've also tried the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Moisturising Lip Balm. I don't really get the, it's kind of like, I think they said it's mint and coconut. I don't really get that myself, but it is nice. Then I've also got their Meltdown Makeup Remover. So this is like a spray, you spritz it onto your cotton pad and you just wipe it over your skin and then it takes it off. The only thing I find with this is it doesn't explain as to whether once you've wiped off your makeup, that's it. I like to do, as you know, the double cleanse. And when I use this, I feel like I've got a greasy film to my skin, so then I feel like I have to do something else, so then I have to clean my skin again. And I feel like they should explain whether that's what you do with it. I don't know. If you know, let me know. It's oil free and it's got vitamin E in it, but it does leave your skin feeling like you've got some sort of film on it. You still feel like you need to wash your face. I don't know. The other thing is their pore refining peel, and I did try this out, and I do like it. It's a bit like when you use the black tarry stuff that you put on your face and then you peel it off. But I felt like I needed to put quite a bit of this on because I put a thin layer on and then it stuck to my skin and it dried and then I couldn't peel it off and I went into a bit of a panic because my skin was like really tight plastic but I couldn't grasp it to pull it off so I had to put more on which then broke the original lockdown and then it ended up in a bit of a lumpy mess. So you do need to put quite a bit on in order for it to dry and be able to peel it because otherwise it will stick to your skin. So I think I need to give this one another go to really let you know what I think. But I really love the Hot Springs Moisturising Gel, so good. Obviously I'm a YouTuber, so to me this one was really exciting. So Decca Scarlet always collaborate with a well-known YouTuber, someone that you guys will probably already be following. This month it's Babs Beauty, so if you follow her let me know in the comment section below. So they put together a palette every two months, so I think it's $29 every two months. So in case you don't know, this is Stephanie aka Babs Beauty. So she is the artist in chief for May and June's palette. So this is the palette and it comes with a lip chubby as well. I'm actually wearing some of the colours on my eyes at the minute. The palette itself is magnetized so it's really nice quality so everything you get is enough to create a full face of makeup and the pigmentation of them is really good I mean look at that purple give these a little swatch really really good and the fact it's only $29 and you get everything for a full face of makeup that's less than what one product would cost you from say Sephora or Selfridges and as you can see you get full size products with it as well this is the lip chubby and again really lovely pigment payoff I just think it's really good quality also with it being a YouTuber influencer then you can always pop over to the channel and see them using the palette so you can also copy along or see what they do with the palette which is really nice so although it's a subscription service for every two months if there's a palette that you don't particularly like you can skip a month which I think is brilliant so I'll leave a link in the description bar and then if you want to go and have a look then you can click through and get your own palette. So some new bits from Benefit that I really like are California Blush which you've seen me use. I love the smell of this, it's so beautiful and it does have a bit of a shimmer to it but nothing too intense. And the other thing I've got is the Hoola Light. I don't know if you guys have seen this or you've tried it, it's been out a little while now. So this is the original Hoola and I know a lot of people said this was too dark for them so if you're of a fairer skin tone then you might like Hoola Light. So if I compare them you can see that this one, although you can see the pattern, is definitely darker than this one. So this one is the same as the original Hoola, it's a matte finish, there's no shimmery particles in it, no light reflecting pigments. So if you want something that's really matte and you're really fair then give the Hoola Light a go. I've also been trying the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue, I've been applying this before my makeup which is really good and I've definitely found I've been less oily with it. I've also given the um, Agent Zero Shine a go, this was recommended to me by Annie who works at Benefit, she said it's really good. But I like that it's quite finely milled and it's not stark white, although I like translucent powders sometimes but even though it's got no colour to it, it will still lighten your makeup slightly so this one doesn't do that and I really like it. I don't know if any of you oily girls have tried it, let me know what you think. And talking of keeping your skin quite matte, I really like the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD micro finishing pressed powders so these ones being made for 4k filming so if you're working on tv then you want something that where you cannot see the powder you don't want it sitting on the fine hairs of the face and you just want something that's just going to mattify the skin and isn't going to change the makeup so these come in three shades you've got 01 which is just a translucent powder then you've got the banana shade and you've also got a peach shade for deeper skin tones so this is the translucent one and this is the banana one so unlike 
something like the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. This for me is quite thick and I find it does change the color of the makeup even when used really finely. I love the brand but I just don't particularly love this powder. So if you're not into baking and you want something that's just going to set your under eye and the rest of your face if you're oily or if you're dry and you just don't want that shine to your skin then definitely give this one a go. You can get this in Debnams and also Pam London. And while we're on the subject of powders I also wanted to show you that Ben and I have brought out a new sort of shake jar. So the original one which I don't have to show you I always have to pour it into my hand and I find it's quite messy. It's exactly the same product but this one you can sort of pour into the lid. This one you can also get from Pam London and I will link it in the description bar for you. Another product I'm really 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 liking by Makeup Forever is their Ultra HD Lip Booster Serum. So this one is in 00 so I assume it comes in colours as well but this one isn't. This is just clear. So this is a Hydra Plump Serum that's completely clear and it doesn't go on like a gloss. It's not glossy. It's just kind of like a balm so when you've got it actually on your lips it feels like silk so when you rub your lips together it's like a silky balm it's really nice and you get a nice amount in it this one you get six mil in it so it'll last you quite a while it's got a nice thick applicator as well so another new product which you'll have seen me use in a tutorial that I uploaded Sunday I'm not sure when this video will be going out but I did use it and you'll have seen it it's the Natasha Denona foundation X so I've got three shades, I've got 45 medium, 30 light medium and 20 light beige. So I am actually 30 light medium and I've got that on now. So I've not tested it for longevity, only because in the daytime I tend to wear powders like mineral makeup. But when I'm filming I've got loads of bright lights here so I can afford to wear a full coverage foundation without it looking too full on. So this says it's a dream come true, long lasting and full coverage radiant foundation that doesn't look thick, dry or cakey on the skin. Due to its high levels of elasticity, this foundation doesn't set into fine lines and gives the skin a natural, radiant, flawless look. I would say, on me, it's definitely more of a matte finish than a radiant finish. It's definitely full coverage, it's very thick, so you can put a little pump of it on your hand and it's not going to run anywhere. It's that kind of consistency. So you definitely need to moisturise your skin really well when you use this, particularly if you've got dry skin, because I can imagine this would stick to that. I find it works best when you work it in with your fingers and then go over it with a beauty blender and it just settles onto the skin beautifully. So there's 11 shades currently available in the foundation, but I do think that Natasha is going to be adding a few more shades to it. I also received this week from Natasha Denona this beautiful Sculpt and Glow Duo. Gorgeous, I love her packaging, it's so nice. So this is the light to medium palette. So in the palette you've got a matte finish highlight powder, a matte finish contour powder, you've also got a gleaming powder, more of a bronze highlight. I love that Natasha always thinks about her kit when she's making her makeup. When you've got cream products next to powders and the powder sits on top of the cream and the surface is just ruined. So obviously Natasha's thought this through and she's added like a little lid, like a clear plastic lid that covers the cream products. So we've got a cream highlighter, a cream contour and then a highlight shade that is a shimmer finish. And again, it's a cream finish. And then we've got exactly the same in the medium to dark palette. These are the two glow blushes that come in the palette. And these are stunning. This is 01 Alba. Can you see that? Gorgeous. It's like a two-tone, kind of pinky coral shade. Goldie, love it. Beautiful. And then this one is called Rayo and it's 02 and it's more pinky than the coral shade. So, so nice. You can imagine that on your skin when you move your face you're going to get kind of orange and gold two-tone effect now i don't have all the prices to hand but i will link them all in the description bar below natasha denona's products are a little bit expensive but when something's been made by a makeup artist you know it's going to be good quality one of my favorite little products that i received this month is the blenderelle this is like a tiny little case for your beauty blender when you're a working makeup artist or even just a makeup lover and you use a sponge all the time you use your damp sponge which gets thrown into your makeup bag and just picks up all the bacteria. So this little invention is absolutely perfect. It's so simple but so brilliant. It's on like a little swivel, as you can see. So you just simply pop your beauty blender in and then you swivel it back round and it's vented at the top, at the sides and at the bottom so it's got a chance to completely dry but it's not going to touch anything. It reminds me of a little tulip. It's really, really cute. Even the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is one of the bigger ones, it still fits in here. So it's brilliant and I definitely want to get more of them because it's so convenient. Really, really nice. Blender Real are actually bringing out some other colours, which I have to have to have. So yeah, I'm going to link them in the description bar for you. 
Some of you will already be familiar with the CoverFX Custom Enhancer Drops and they've recently brought out a couple of new shades. So this is the collection. So the new shades in this collection are Halo, Rose Gold and Blossom. So these top three were already in the collection and they are Sunlit, Moonlight and Celestial. And then the bottom three we have Halo, Rose Gold and Blossom. You can see that beautiful glow. If you're really into your beaming highlight, you will adore these. Another product from CoverFX is their Illuminating Setting Spray. I don't want to say anything bad about a brand. I don't like to do that, but I really don't like this. But I had to show it to you because it is beautiful. And if you are a fan of real shimmery products, then you're probably going to love it. See, for me, I don't think it's good as a setting spray. You would have to give it a good few spritz before you move it onto the face because it kind of blobs out a little bit in the first spray. And because it's so so shimmery it just could ruin your makeup you need to give it a good shake the bottle kind of gives away what it's like it's a pearlescent finish i'm not going to spray it because it really will go over it and it's so so shimmery i'm going to insert a little bit of footage from my mobile so you can see on the hand just what it's like and it doesn't do it justice as soon as i spritzed it it kind of went all over my arm in little dots and some bigger dots and i kind of had to use my hand to get that nice finish to it but you can't do that over the top of your makeup. So I don't think, for me, it works as a setting spray, but it is a really beautiful, illuminating product. I just don't think it works as a spritz and as a makeup set. So, I don't know. Have any of you tried it? If you have, please let me know what you think. My advice would definitely be to give it a few spritzes in the air first so the pump gets going and then kind of maybe even walk into it or see how it goes and then maybe spray on your face. But initially, if you get this, don't just spray it straight onto your makeup because you probably will ruin it. <laughs> Another product I'm really loving at the moment, which I have showed you guys before, but I'm going to show you again because now the summer's coming in, I really love using it. It's the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Protection, long description. Anyway, it's a mist that you put on your face and it's a sun protector, so it's SPF 30. Great for dehydrated skin. Also fine if you're oily, I've got on with it perfectly well. Um, and you can use it over makeup, you can use it before or after. I just love that it's a mist and I'm not sitting there rubbing sunscreen into my skin. The fact that it's a mist is just really nice. The other one I really like is by Bioderma. It's suitable for sensitive skin, you need to give it a good shake before you use it. And then just about 15 centimetres from your face, give your face a little mist over either before or after your makeup, or both. And um, you'll be sun safe. These are gorgeous. These are for those of you that don't like a lot of colour. They don't go super dark in the palette. This is the darkest shade called Ever and it's a cool matte brown shade. So we've got a matte panel and we've also got a kind of shimmery satin panel. So they're all quite neutral in colour. Perfect for that kind of classic soft smoke. It's a lovely everyday palette that they've brought out a little face palette. So you've got a nice soft pink blush and then we've got this beautiful gold highlight and then a matte contour shade which is really nice because it's kind of cool in tone. So the beautiful Natalie over at Maybelline has sent me a few of the new releases that they've got coming out. So we've got the Master Blush Palette and the Master Bronze Palette. This one is a highlight and bronze palette. So we've got that gold highlight and a couple of shades of the bronzy brown. We've got slightly warmer tones and cooler tones. And this one is the blush and highlight kit. So again, we've got that nice highlighter shade and then we've got a few different shades of blush. So for an affordable drugstore brand, these are really nicely pigmented, especially for blushes and that lovely little highlight there, kind of like a pinky champagne. It's really pretty. So also along with the launch of those is their Vivid Hot Lacquers. I have two shades, I've got 64 Unreal and 72 Classic, so it's like a classic red and a nice kind of mocha nudie shade. These smell so edible and as you can see they're really opaque, such a good payoff, especially for an affordable product. Drugstore brands are definitely up their game. Natasha Denona has also brought out just recently her Work and Set Cream Eyeliners. So I've got three shades, I've got Black, Mechanic which is kind of like a gunmetal grey and then brown. These are really great. What makes them a little bit different to a generic cream eyeliner is that they will give you a bit of working time. Some of them set really quick and if you want to use them as a base for your eyeshadow you don't get a lot of working time with them. Whereas these are specifically made again by a makeup artist for that exact reason. So you can line your lid, you've got time to smudge it if you want to smudge it, you've got time to perfect it if you haven't got it quite right and then once it sets it stays in place. It's got really good longevity and staying power and you get a nice amount. You get 3 mil in each each pot. Sometimes I want to do a nice diffused winged liner and I don't want to always have to use black eyeshadow on top of it to give that nice smoke. Instead I actually have time to work with the eyeliner and soften it and diffuse it and then it just sets. 
This week I also got through some Diego De La Palma Passion Lip Stylos and I've got two shades. These are both kind of peachy coral shades and I've got 238 and 236, both in a chubby stick form. So the light shades are creamy and they're really lightweight and they just give you a subtle wash of colour and the darker shades are more of a matte finish and they're kind of smudge proof and a bit more opaque. So this is how they come and they've got like a swivel so you can dispense the amount that you want as you use the stylo. And again, chubby stick forms, you can throw them in your bag and they're easy to use. With that point, you don't even need a mirror to apply them. This is the matte finish and then this is that creamy apricot shade. The summer trends that are gonna be in are kind of that nude eye, bronzy skin with a nice bold lip. This colour would be beautiful for the summer. The lighter shades of these remind me of the L'Oreal Sexy Balms. I hate the name of them. I really hate the name of them. They could have come up with something so much nicer, but they are really nice. I've got the sheer one on at the minute called Gossip 102, and I've got a range of these which come out last year. The darker shades are more opaque, and then the lighter shades are like a wash of colour. So these are just light because they're very hydrating, and they just give you just a subtle pop. So you've got two options, ones that are slightly more affordable and a little bit more expensive, but both really nice. So I think that's kind of everything I wanted to show you. I don't want the video to go on too long. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.